If only it were all so simple. If only there were evil people somewhere insidiously committing evil deeds, and it were necessary just to separate them from the rest of us, enemies, to be destroyed. The line separating good from evil passes not through states, nor between classes of people, nor us and them. The line cuts through the heart of every human being. The line is down the middle of every human being. And who would destroy a piece of their own heart? The project of God's creation is fulfilled in an historical public lynching of a wandering brown-skinned storytelling teacher from a marginalised ethnic minority group by mob, using the instruments of state-sanctioned murder. Three days later, he walked out, and he spoke as he had lived, saying, Peace be with you. Jesus is for the healing, the saving of every human heart. Every human heart. This work is not the work of an army or the power of will using brutalising force. Redemption by way of violence is a myth and a lie. It is in the face of evil and the heights of human violence that God flexes. Jesus saves using the redemptive power of sacrificial love once and for all. The Jesus of the cross and empty tomb is a beautiful and subversive action. Cosmic redemption, framed as failure, turns an instrument of state-sanctioned suppression and torture into a thing of beauty, a seed, not a sword, to seduce every human heart to join in the making of all things new. And it is beautiful. In the face of torturous public execution, Jesus grants forgiveness. In the face of complicity in grave wrongdoing, Jesus greets with the sign of the peace. In the face of those gripped with paralyzing guilt, there is no condemnation, just a loving, tender embrace. In the face of confusion and doubt, there is a bold invitation to join with the Creator and turn our lives towards the healing of each other and the world itself. For Christians, Easter is exquisite beauty. The cross, as an instrument of perfect torture, has become a sign of healing and hope. The cross is a fragile seed, tossed in the whirlwind, and passing through humankind's worst, lands on the other side, taking root, and grows into a mighty tree whose fruits bring a harvest of light and love, dispelling every fear and all darkness, whose leaves bring healing to the nations. As we come to see the beauty of Jesus more fully, his beauty will live in us, and our beauty will increase and turn towards a wider peacemaking and beauty will save the world.